FaceTime. Oh, I really you do, do that a lot? All the time. Uh, you know, Have you considered using FaceTime instead of email? <laughs> a little joke there about email we we're just talking about. Welcome back to Harvard. That was Harry Clinton tonight on the Jimmy Kimmel Show. And by the way, Jimmy Kimmel gets better all the time. We're back with the roundtable. Jason Johnson, Colleen McCain-Nelson, and Michael Steele. Uh, what do you think about the late night stuff? It can't hurt at this point. I mean, did you think that was original and, uh, and that was novel? Do you think that was actually spontaneous from Hillary Clinton's part? Well, she looked like Facebook? she was really laughing, right? And uh, do you think she and, knew that the shot on email was coming? Uh, <laughs> I think she could guess. And and he asked about her health, and she offered to let him take her pulse, and he had her open a jar of pickles. And oh, here it is. Here it is. You're right it, ahead. So. This tonight, tonight's show. When Kimmel, they released this ahead. Also asked Hillary Clinton, Jimmy Kimmel did about tonight about rumors regarding. I'm not sure you'd call it a rumor. It's called enemy up. And in fact, I think it's just negative rumor mongering. Uh, so to prove her strength, Kimmel asked her to do this. This is like the husband and wife thing with the pickle <laughs> jar. Let's watch this. Can you open this <laughs> jar of pickles? This has not been tampered with. This is... <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. Did she open it? Yes. Good for her. I'm, I'm where's Bill Clinton? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is the husband wife stuff, but didn't she call that? Where's my bill? You are, that's your job. Move the furniture, open the jars. I, I'm, I'm waiting for the Breitbart conspiracy that it was like a pre open oh, or yeah, something yeah, no, like that. Was, that, that, that you know, she really wasn't strong enough. With. Exactly, it was skewed. It was a skewed can of pickles. Or it was an easy pickle jar. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, I love that. Some of those things you're never going to do, and then it works. Isn't that a great deal? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it works open. This Hillary thing about the, the, the health thing, I think it's lowbrow. I think it's cheap shot stuff. Is it to work with her head? Is it is to work her into so she'll say something stupid? But you know, health is pretty vital. It's by definition vital to us all. And people have health problems. Why make a joke about a health problem? When to people who have health problems, they're dead serious. They're horrible. Cancer, heart disease, all kinds of problems people die of. And... Uh, there's all kinds of medical conditions. Autism is a medical condition of sorts, all these things. And then to joke and have Rudy Giuliani going out there say, just look online. Right. Look online? <laughs> is that where the truth is? I mean, <laughs> you can get the nuttiest stuff online. If you, and if you look online, Rudy Giuliani says, Google Hillary Clinton illness. And if you Google that now, you get Rudy Giuliani right. talking about it. Yeah. Like, those are the top results. I mean, it just come, becomes a self-perpetuating rumor. But this is what they did against Michael. Uh, the Congress wasn't a great candidate years ago. But when they yeah. put out the fact that he had gone to a shrink and he had some clinical depression, and then Reagan comes on and does the pile one by saying, I don't want to talk about an invalid. Uh, you know, they're playing a terrible game because to the low information voter, I'm not knocking anybody, when you only pay a little attention, you hear, well, you say, I hear she's sick. Well, also, and, it, and then that becomes something that some people believe, and it's a lie. And, and what kind of feats of strength do you need to feel that somebody's healthy? Does she got to do push-ups, you know, with Michelle Obama? I mean, like, I remember we used to say this about Strom Thurmond when I worked in South Carolina. The guy always seemed healthy as a horse. We, we well, he had was kids older. when he was 90. Exactly. <laughs> that was one sign. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you knew he was still working. He was still working with some stuff. But, I would but, say he was laid over. He was, he was past 30. His, his clock, biological clock, was slow moving. Anyway, the round table staying with us. And up next, three, these guys will tell me something I don't know. We'll be right back. You're watching Hardball, the place for politics.